I'm John Carpy. I'm the second generation of making cowbells for Latin percussion. My father-in-law, Angelo Marchion, started his business in 1959. Here we are 50-some-odd years later, still doing it. Jersey born and bred, yes sir, as my father-in-law was. So I mean, this thing has been a tradition in New Jersey for yeah, yeah, many, many years, yeah. You know, I can look out this window and see the Empire State Building, you know. That's the base of Latin music in the United States. It all started in the Bronx and, and New York City, and New Jersey is all part of that as well. You know, this is one big megapolis. We make merengues, we make guidos, we make plexitones. We make duro beaters, we make uh, torpedoes. We make about 56 different uh, different bells. Since I've been associated with, with manufacturer cowbell, um, we've probably made well over a million. One of the mystiques in, in, in putting a bell together is the fact that there is a lot of hand fitting done, you know. Um, there's a lot more in labor than somebody would think looking at that bell. And again, that's just an extension of, of the passion that these guys have for what they do, really. You know, my Manuel Abreu has been there for 30 some odd years now. And average right now is probably about 22, 23 years. All of these guys, uh, the most impressive thing for me is, is I got to use the word passion, the passion that they have for what they do. You know, our welders are, are some of the best there are in this part of the country. And I got to tell you, that's not just an easy bet. You go out and pick a welder and say, okay, this is what I want you to do. I mean, in some cases, we're TIG welding extremely thin material, which is not an easy thing. You know, not an average welder can do that. So it takes some time. Really what it is, what we're doing is it's kind of machine to one point, but then there's a lot of manual um, fitting done in addition to that. And I think it's that blend that, you know, we, we speed up certain areas with machines, but then the putting together and, and the fitting and the sounding and everything is all by hand. There was a, an LP endorser that was at the LP office saying, you know, geez, I wish my, I wish my Black Beauty bell, the one that I bought 15 years ago, I wish the bells today sounded just like that because that was such a good sound. And um, at the time, the, the gentleman who was in the office said, wait a minute, let's pull one out of stock and we'll do it. And the two bells were put next to each other and sounded identical. That's what we're trying to continue on, this consistency of sound. Because as an example, with that Black Beauty, that's the most recorded cowbell in history. I mean, listen. I love cowbells. That's all I can tell you. <laughs>